in a spirit of uh, spiritual communion together, uh, we as the Diocese of Biloxi uh, Catholic School staff and faculty join together to pray together, uh, especially at this challenging time uh, in which uh, we are uh, facing our, uh, the circumstances. So in God's love, in a very special way, uh, we pray together uh, and uh, we'll pray uh, daytime prayer together. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 God, come to my assistance. Lord, Lord make, make haste, haste to help me. me. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Have mercy, mercy Lord, on us, us, for you are ever kind. Though we have, have sinned before, before you, Lord, your mercy, mercy let us find. Lord, wash away our guilt and cleanse us from our sin. For we confess our wrongs and see how great our guilt has been. The joy your grace can give, let us again obtain. And may your Spirit's firm support our spirits then sustain. To God the Father, Son, and Spirit be glory be who was, and who is, and shall be also for all eternity. The time of penance has come, the time to atone for our sins and seek our salvation. Bless your servant, and I shall live, and obey your word. Obey my eyes, that I may see the wonders of your law. I am, I am a pilgrim on the earth. earth. Show me your commands. My soul is ever consumed as, as I long for your decrees. You threaten, you threaten the proud, the accursed, who turn from your commands. Relieve me from the scorn and contempt, for I do your will. Though princes sit plotting against me, I ponder on your rulings. Your will is my delight. Your statutes are my counselors. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be will. forever. Amen. Amen. Father, giver of good gifts, do not let us astray, do not let us go astray from your commands, but help us seek you with all our hearts. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. I trust you. Let me not be disappointed. Do not let my enemies triumph. Those who hope in you shall not be disappointed, but only those who wantonly break faith. Lord, make me know your ways. Lord, teach me your paths. Make me walk in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior. In you, you I, I hope all day long, because, because of your goodness, O oh Lord. Lord. Remember your mercy, Lord, and the love you have shown from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth. In your love, remember me. The Lord is good and upright. He shows the path to those who stray. He guides the humble in their right path. He teaches his way to the poor. His ways are faithfulness and love. For, for those, those who keep his covenant, covenant and law. Lord, for the, for the sake of your name, forgive my guilt, for it is great. great. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. To you, Lord, we lift up our souls. Rescue us. Do not let us be put to shame for calling out to you. Do not remember the sins of our youth and stupidity, but remember us with your love. If anyone, if anyone fears the Lord, he will show him the path he should choose. His soul shall live in happiness, and his children shall possess the land. The Lord's friendship is for those who revere him. To them he reveals his covenant. My eyes are always on the Lord, for he rescues my feet from the snare, 
Turn to me and have mercy, for I am lonely and poor. Relieve the anguish of my heart, and set me free from my distress. See my affliction and my toil, and take all my sins away. See how many are my foes, how violent their hatred for me. Preserve my life and rescue me. Do not disappoint me. You are my refuge. My innocence and uprightness protect me, for my hope is in you, O Lord. Redeem Israel, O God, from all its distress. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, forever. Amen. Through your Son, Lord, you spared sinners to show us your mercy and love. Do not remember our sins, but show us your ways. Relieve our distress. Satisfy the longing of your people so that all our hopes for eternal peace may reach fulfillment. Since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our profession of faith. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weakness, but one who was tempted in every way that we are, yet never sinned. Create in me a clean heart, O God. Renew in me a steadfast spirit. We hear in the letter to the Hebrews, uh, in a very special way, uh, the, the early church was tested. Uh, they were under deep persecution. They were under deep, deep uh, difficulty. Uh, and yet they still uh, found Christ in the midst of all that was going on. Uh, and in a similar way, the, the letter to the Hebrews is is urging us and Jesus is urging us uh, to trust in him uh, to let him truly touch our lives uh, especially in the midst of, of our fears our concerns uh, the, the moments of lack of trust the moments of, of really frustration or anger or whatever is going on uh, that he really wants to be there for us to touch us and bless us and be uh, be with us in the midst of all this and he, he knows personally what suffering means. That's why he died on the cross. To say to us, he is the high priest who died on the cross and rose from the dead, saying to us, the victory has been won in a very special way. Um, for all of our, our faculty and staff and all of our teachers, all of our our workers, all of, especially our principals, um, the love of Christ is yours. And uh, we share the love of Christ with you right now, very personally. And you know, as you have reached out to each of your students or to your families, uh, it's really been a Christ-like moment. Uh, and a moment in which you have given to them uh, both encouragement but also help them to grow as people and uh, as uh, hopefully disciples of Jesus Christ. Uh, and uh, the gift that you have given them, the time you've spent, the, the, the many hours uh, on social media uh, to, to kind of stand there and be with our, our students uh, and to, to uh, hold their hands, uh, at least uh, in virtual reality, uh, has been a, a gift to them and to their families uh, and it's truly a blessing uh, I as your bishop am, am grateful for that uh, and uh, also have been praying for you as has the the staff at the diocese uh, we've been offering mass for each of the schools very personally uh, but praying for you and for uh, all of the students that you work with all the families you work with praying for your families and praying for each of our schools and each of our parishes that, uh, that even during this difficult time, uh, Jesus reigns. The high priest is with us. And, uh, and he truly does love us 
and he truly does uh, want us to stand with him in a pilgrimage of faith uh, no matter what's taking place. And so be assured of my prayers and my blessing uh, and that uh, uh, we as a church are one together uh, and in this unique time we're one together in social media, we're one together in spiritual communion. So let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, come to us, free us from the stain of our sins. Help us to remain faithful to a holy way of life. Guide us to the inheritance you have promised. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.